Good to be with you again as Peter Barlow's cardiologist. Now today we're having a very short video but perhaps one of the most important videos and that is what are the common symptoms associated with a heart attack? Now if you happen to be watching this video or doing searches online and you have any of these symptoms, please stop what you're doing and call your local emergency services or paramedic services to get their advice. We know that with symptoms that may be suggestive of a heart attack, we do not want to be ignoring these. The quicker we can get medical attention to you, the better the outcome will be. So what are the common symptoms? Well, heart attacks occur as a result of a blockage or a deficiency of blood getting to the heart muscle. So the heart muscle becomes starved of nutrients, blood flow, oxygen, and it cannot do its job. So the symptoms that are associated when this happens are rather abrupt, are rather acute. They occur relatively all of a sudden. And these symptoms are often chest pain. Now, chest pain can be described by many people in different ways. Everybody has a different type of pain. And the pain can often be described by patients as, well, it's pain, or it's tightness, or it's pressure, or it's a constriction. It's a band around my chest. It's a heavy feeling in the front of the chest. It feels like some, somebody's sitting on my chest. That pain that originates often in the center of the chest can be left side, but can also be right side. It doesn't really matter where the heart is and the heart being on the left side of the chest. People can feel it all around and all over the chest. But that pain can also be felt perhaps down the arms, both arms in the shoulders. It can radiate or go up into the neck and in the jaw. It might be felt towards the back. And again, it can be a rather intense pain, very uncomfortable. It may be associated with a feeling as though you cannot breathe. You feel short of breath or you're breathing far more rapidly or more shallow, or you're trying to gasp and take air in and it's becoming a struggle. There may be a sense of feeling sick, like you want to throw up or vomit, nausea, a queasy feeling. You may feel your heart racing, pounding, feeling it through the chest. And again, any of these symptoms, we urge you to get prompt medical attention. There are many other causes for chest pain. So there are many other causes that are unrelated to the heart. The muscles, nerves, bones, joints around the chest wall, the lungs, the stomach, the esophagus. Again, there are many other causes. But when we notice something bizarre, something strange, something intense, a feeling as though it's heavy, it's dull, it's crushing, it might be, as I said, associated with difficulty breathing, feeling sick, feeling nauseous, looking sweaty, pale. You must get urgent attention. And again, that is very, very important because we know that the quicker we can get attention and do some preliminary investigations and examine you, the quicker we can institute treatments and therapies to identify what is causing the problem and if it is as a result of a heart attack or a blockage in one of the arteries of the heart, then we can go ahead and perform a procedure to treat this artery, to open it up and restore blood flow. So again, a short topic that we've discussed today, but a very important one about some of the symptoms associated with heart attacks. In our next video, we will talk a little about the different types of heart attacks. Now, you might have heard people saying that we've had, I've had a minor heart attack or I've had a major heart attack. I want to differentiate a little about what does it all mean when we talk about the types of heart attacks and what's actually going on inside the artery of the heart that is contributing to this problem. 
Until the next video, bye for now.